Now the sixth question we have is a very interesting and a conceptual problem. We have been given a sphere of radius r which passes through the origin O and it cuts the axis in points A, B and C. We need to find out the locus of the foot of perpendicular from the origin to this plane A, B, C. So, let us solve this question. Let us first write down the equation of the square. It will be x square plus y square plus z square minus ax minus by minus cz plus d is equal to 0. Now, since this sphere passes through the origin, therefore the constant term will be equal to 0 because on putting 0, 0, it should satisfy this equation. Therefore, we have removed the constant term and this is the remaining equation of the sphere we have. Now, it is also given that this sphere has radius r. We know how to find out the radius of the sphere. Let us first find out the center. The center is a by 2 comma b by 2 comma c by 2. You find this out by just dividing the coefficient of x by minus 2, coefficient of y by minus 2, write it here, coefficient of uh, z, uh, you divide by minus 2 and write it here. This is the uh, center of the sphere. Now, to find out the radius, it is equal to a square by 4 plus b square by 4 plus c square by 4. Therefore, this is the radius of the square and this is given to be equal to r. Therefore, in a whole square, uh, we whole square both sides to get a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 4 r square. So, let us remember this relation that we have that a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 4 r square. Now, let us find out where does this sphere cuts the axis. It cuts the x axis at uh, point A. Now, for finding out x axis, we put y and z to be equal to 0. We get x is equal to A. Similarly, we will get y is equal to B and z is equal to C. That is the point A as point A will be A comma 0 comma 0, B will be 0 comma B comma 0 and C will be equal to 0 comma 0 comma C. So, we have the plane formed by these three points. Now, the plane the equation of the plane can be directly written. This is equal to x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c is equal to 1. You can directly write the equation of the plane when you have the three intercepts on the three axis like this x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c is equal to 1. Now, we need to find out the locus of the foot of perpendicular from O to the plane ABC. Let the point foot of perpendicular be h, k, l as we always assume. Now, this lies on the line which is perpendicular to the plane ABC. Now, the normal to the plane ABC is 1 upon AI cap plus 1 upon B J cap plus 1 upon C K cap. This is the normal to the plane. Therefore, the normal to this plane will also be equal to the direction in which the line is. Now, the equation of the line which passes through the origin that is the point 0, 0, 0 and has the direction ratios equal to the normal of this plane will be X upon 1 upon A is equal to Y upon 1 upon b is equal to z upon 1 upon c. Now, this point which is the foot of perpendicular, it definitely lies on this line because this is the line which is passing through the origin and it is perpendicular to the uh, plane ABC. Therefore, we put it here to get h upon 1 upon a is equal to k upon 1 upon b is equal to z upon is equal to l upon 1 upon c. This is one relation which we get over here. Now, whenever we have these ratios, it is always advisable to put that this equal to lambda. Let this ratio be equal to lambda. Now, let us put these values of now this h, k and l that we have got. The point h, comma a, comma k, comma l also lies on this plane because it lies on the plane ABC. Therefore, we need to we can replace this x by h, this y by k, and this z by l. Now, we need to eliminate a, b and c. Therefore, a, the value of a over here is equal to lambda upon h. Similarly, we can get all of the values to get 1 upon lambda into h square plus k square plus l square is equal to 1 by substituting a is equal to lambda upon h, b is equal to lambda upon k and c is equal to lambda upon l from this equation. Therefore, this is one relation that we get. We still need to eliminate lambda. This will be eliminated by using this equation by substituting the value of a, b and c in terms of lambda from here. Therefore, we get lambda square common 1 upon h square plus 1 upon k square plus 1 upon l square is equal to 4 r square. Now, from these two equations, we need to eliminate lambda. 
सो वी होल स्क्वायर दिस इक्वेशन टू गेट वन अपॉन लैमडा स्क्वायर इन टू एच स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर प्लस एल स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर इज गुड वन नॉन मल्टीप्लाइंग दीज टू इक्वेशन वी गेट एच स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर प्लस एल स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर इन टू वन अपॉन एच स्क्वायर प्लस वन अपॉन के स्क्वायर प्लस वन अपॉन एल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर आर स्क्वायर एंड दे फोर वी गेट अ रिलेशन विच इज सोली इन टर्म्स ऑफ एच के एंड एल एंड द गिवन वेरिएबल आर दे फोर वी गेट अ फाइनल रिलेशन बाय सब्सिट्यूटिंग एच बाय एक्स के बाय वाई एंड एल बाई जेड वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन अपॉन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस वन अपॉन जेड स्क्वायर दिस विल बी इक्वल टू फोर आर स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज द फाइनल लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट that we get